Welcome back. In this video, we are going to train the data, uh, our data set, and we are going to test whether the data set is trained properly and we are, whether we are getting the proper output for that. Okay, so for that, I have imported the uh, that is data weather data which I have I have uh, segregated using a resampling method in filter through filter that I have discussed in the previous video you can check that out okay and uh, here after that is I have I uh, usually initially that particular data set had 14 instances and after resampling I had eight instances for training and four instances for testing okay I have given the uh, previous video links in the description box you can check that out so let us proceed i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to classify the data i'm just first i'm going to um train the data okay use the training set and i'm going to use what i have i'm going to train the data for with the j48 or you can also use random tree okay and uh, this is what it, it will be this will be considered as a training set okay and i have started the very important thing which you should remember is what in the pre-process stage itself you have to make your class you have to select that any particular attribute is a class attribute so here you can see class is play in few um, in few data set once you have imported you can see that no class which means that the class attributes is not set okay if you want to set the class attribute I have also discussed that in the previous video you can check that out okay so once it is done you can go to classifier and first train your data with any classification technique okay I hope till this it's fine now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, supply my testing set okay so that testing set what I have did is I have already created that that is a testing set in the documents here so i have two type of data one is the training and testing in the test set you can first open it with the notepad and what you have to do is what just because see here i'm just going to delete the class attributes because vicar is going to uh, show you the class attribute whether based on these data whether you can play or not okay this is what the Veka is going to do and uh, i should not leave this empty that comma after that comma i cannot leave it empty so i'm just going to fill it with the question mark okay so this is what the test is set i have saved it and i have closed it in the training set you can see that the data is there that is the class attribute is there and it is shown like s no s no etc so i'm again i'm showing whether test data open it that is there is no class label is there where the Vika is going to generate the class label okay so let us see how we have to do that so select next one is you have to select what supply test supply the test test so i am going to supply the test set okay select here open this is what the test set click open and check whether it has selected its own class label play is what my class label and select close okay now from the choose you have to select what smo classification okay you have smo classification that is that will be available under the functions okay under classify tab under weka functions you have smo so what is smo is what it's a sequential minimum optimization algorithm for training a support vector classification technique i'm selecting smo classification if you want to know more about it you can click here that um, text box and see what is the other data information about smo now what i'm going to do is i am going to click kick start click start okay so here you can see the total number of instances everything is zero because we have been supplied any class label okay it will show like this now in the left side that functions smo is there no result list right click here where you can see that visualize classifier error okay here you have a model called visualize classifier error click that classifier error and click here save where it will be saved as arf format okay so again i'm just going back to my original folder document and uh, in weka i'm going to show store the weather result okay 
weather predicted result so now i'm going to open the weather predicted result click here open with notepad so now what it has showed is what see the data is filled here with no s this is what the class label okay no yes yes and no so for no it is by default it is understanding that this is minus one and if it is s it is understanding that it is one okay and you can see that one more attribute has been added that is what prediction margin okay the this is what prediction margin and this is what the predicted play fine predicted margin and predicted play has been added so the weka is working fine and it is showing the output for that the exercise for you is you have to try with a different set of uh, algorithm here i have chosen smo algorithm if you want to choose if you want to try with the lacy algorithm ibk or k48 or anything you can try that and let me know how it works and if you are facing any errors you can also tell me okay so three what we have done is initially while pre processing we have imported the data and we have said that this is what my class label and then in the classify tab what i have done first i have trained the set and then i have supplied the test set the in the test set you should not have the class classification uh, column you have to leave it empty and give question mark over there where it will fulfill that if you have any doubt related to this please let me know in the further video we will just go and check with the cl clustering associate select attributes what is visualized and everything thank you take care bye bye